Hey up and welcome to another Restrap how to video. Today we're looking at the, the race range and in particular in this video we're looking at the race bar bag. It's worth noting actually before we go on that this is designed for just regular drop bars, regular flat bars. We do have an alternative version of the bar bag which is called the Aero Race bar bag and that's designed for TT bars but let's just focus on this today hey. For those of you who are familiar with the carry everything bar bag then there's a few similarities um, but there's also quite a few differences as well so let's let's have a look at it in detail. Before we go on um, yeah I mean the the first thing to, to note is that it's a harness style bar bag so the dry bag element of it is completely removable so we've got the harness attached to the bike you get to your destination, take the dry bag inside, and it's so, so good as, A, particularly given that this is the race range, it's a really good time saver, to be honest. It means that you're not fiddling around with lots and lots of straps. As you get to places, you can just take what you need in and reattach it when you, when you come back out again. So let's concentrate on the harness to, to start off with. The attachment system to the bars is actually exactly the same as the, the carry everything. And it is so, so good. Um, we've just got these sprung, spring loaded cam locks. And once that's locked in place, there's no movement there whatsoever. Uh, so it's really sturdy and secure. And we've got a couple of foam pads there just to, to sit between the handlebar and the, the harness. And it just really helps A, get these nice and tight, but B, just holds it away a little bit so any cables and things are not getting crushed. Next thing to, to note is actually a slightly different style additional securing point uh, compared to the carry everything bar bag but actually it's what we now use on the canister bag and it's just a piece of elastic with a toggle on and again two foam cushions and this sits behind the head tube just to hold that in securely in place. And then finally on the harness we've actually got a stretch of Hyperlon here and that's to stop the bar bag from spinning around in the harness once it's in place. And I'll show you why that's important in a second. So let's move on to the, the bar bag, which is, is really unique, actually. Um, like nothing else, really. It's seven litres capacity, carrying capacity. First thing to notice is we've actually got two elasticated pockets on the side. Re again, it's just really nice, handy, extra storage uh, and easy to access. It's the downside as always to, to a dry bag that's, that's in the holster is you can't get into it at all while you're riding along. So anything that means that you can actually access stuff while riding is, is really, really useful. Second of all, it's not the usual pure roll top closure. We've got this additional strap here and then we have got a roll top. Uh, one thing to note is this is seven litre capacity. And seven liters is kind of like the maximum capacity for it really if you overfill it a little bit then these straps just won't be able to do up so do bear that in mind and don't try to overfill it and you can now see why we've got this little stretch of grippy hypal on here because once that's sat within there you want to make sure that the pockets are facing upwards at all times that's pretty much all the features. So let's move to fitting it on the bike. Right, so uh, on to fitting the, the race bar bag. And if you've got one of the carry everything bar bags or you've used our canister, then it's gonna be roughly similar, but um, we'll talk you through it anyway. First things first, got the two straps that fit around the bars and got foam pads there. Make sure the foam pads are sat up nicely against the handlebar. And then we've got this really nice cam locking system. So just strap through it and pull up to snug that nice and tight. Don't worry about getting it super tight first time round. Um, just want to get it roughly in the right place on the bars. Same on the other side, just being careful trying not to, to crush any of your cables. And we have got some little strap tidies underneath there just to make sure everything's nice and tidy. And that's a big chunk of the fitting already done. We then got this elastic cord that fits around the head tube make sure that again the foam pads are, are sat nicely against that and then we've got a toggle on the end here simply pass the toggle through the elastic cord and do that up tight and then tidy up the end and then that's that's pretty much ready to to go okay so let's just pop the dry bag into place and it's 
nothing more complicated than resting it in the harness make sure these straps are nice and loose to start off with there we go just make sure that everything's nice and even you haven't got it hanging out one side too much yeah perfect and then snug these straps up and then finally we've just got some little velcro strap tidies there roll them up and tidy that away and you're ready to ride <laughs>